Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. Happy Easter to you all and also a happy Sunday to you all. I hope you are enjoying your weekend. My guys, no long intro. I want to jump in quickly. And you can see a video of Mohamed. This, this is his hair transformation from the one he had previously to the Rasta he's having now. I want to ask you, which of the hairstyles do you like of Mohamed produce? Now, I just want to talk about the hairstyle a bit and then jump into today's video. Now, with the hairstyle, for those who have not followed Mohamed Produce at his Ajax days, this hairstyle might come to you as a new hairstyle. But for some of us who have been following Mohamed Produce from his Ajax days, trust me, this hairstyle is not new to us. This hairstyle is giving us memories of the Ajax Mohamed Produce. That Mohamed Produce that place in Ajax and everybody is talking about. That is the hairstyle. And you know, Mohamed Kudus with the hairstyle, I mean, I, I feel like it's very nice. This is Mohamed Kudus himself. While looking at this video, it tells me a lot that transformation from the previous haircut to the new one. I mean, it's very nice to really, really watch this. But then, that wasn't the only thing. Yesterday, West Ham lost to Newcastle United by four goals to three. When Mohamed Kudus scored a goal and also gave an assist. So far for Mohamed Kudus, he has scored seven goals for West Ham in the EPL so far. And he has also broken a record. He becomes the highest goal scoring Ghanaian player who have ever played in West Ham with 13 goals, surpassing Andre Dede Ayu with 12 goals. Even Mohamed Kudus have played less games. That aside, Mohamed Kudus had the chance to talk about his teammate at West Ham, Lucas Paqueta. And these are some of the things Mohamed Kudus said about Lucas Paqueta. I want to read it out. He says that he acts as a link between our defense and also our attack. He's like magnet pulling the team forward. And this is coming from Mohamed Kudus talking about Lucas Paqueta, saying that Lucas Paqueta acts as a link between their defense and also attack. And is also pulling the team forward. And doing so, well. these two players, when they're on the pitch for West Ham, trust me, they give you results. Even though sometimes it doesn't go well, you see that these two players really stand out in that West Ham team. Mohamed Kudus and Lucas Paqueta, their combination is just dangerous dangerous so guys let me know your thoughts about the hairstyle transformation and also what Mohamed Kudus has to say about teammate Lucas Paqueta now let's move away from that and talk about Thomas Pate today he featured for us now against Manchester City now in fact this match most of us wanted to see I mean end to end stuff we wanted to see an interesting game a dramatic game but this game was very boring I don't know if you watched it you were attest to me that Man City versus Arsenal was very very boring that game ended in the 0-0 draw but i'm not interested in whatever happened in that game i'm interested in the fact that thomas Pate had the chance to play in that game he came in in the second half when he came in asla was seriously defending in that game they were seriously defending in the game it's as if you, the two teams they didn't want to concede a goal and they were respecting each other by the end of the day this is an advantage to live up Yes, this is an advantage to Liverpool because Liverpool won their game today against Brighton and whole world. This is an advantage to Liverpool. So guys, this is Thomas Pate coming in. And this is the third time Thomas Pate is coming from the bench to play for Arsenal ever since he turned from injury. And I think it's good, like the way they are you know, game managing him so that he doesn't get injured again. When he came into the game, trust me, he gave a pass to Odegaard and that pass went to Trossard. In fact, Trossard should have done the needful to cut across that pass and send it to Martinelli. That would have ended up in a goal. But then he, he decided to go for gl uh, glory, which didn't really work out. But then at the end of the day, Thomas Pate was quite influential in that game, giving some key passes that really impressed me. And you see, Thomas Pate is going to come back to his original form and start playing in the first team of Arsenal. In fact, the starting 11. Because Jorginho today, I mean, he's good. My full Thomas Pate, if it's all right, much fit, trust me, Thomas Pate is entering that team when he's starting. But guys, the most exciting thing is that Thomas Pate featured today for Arsenal against Man City, which ended in a 0-0 draw. Now let's move away from that and talk about Enes Nyama, who yesterday played for Lyon against Reims in the French League. Ah, that game ended in a 1-1 draw. And guess who scored a goal yesterday for Lyon? Last minute header. It was Enes Nyama. This guy is doing so well. So far this season for Lyon, he has scored two goals and given two assists. Two goals, two assists for Lyon. And I mean, I'm really excited about what he's doing at Lyon so far. Lyon at the first half of this season were relegation bound. But currently they sit 10th in the French league table. And I think this is excellent. At least they are not getting relegated. At least they did 
expected to reflect on the season and, and come back harder. We wanted to see, you know, NSL take the lead by storm. That didn't really happen in the beginning of the season. But then I just believe that things will go all well for the player and also for the team. Looking at the addition they are, you know, they are bringing into the team. But then NSL not scoring a goal is good news and it's worth bringing to you because you see, Enes Nyama, after Mohamed Kudus, he's the next star boy. We were also him during the international break. Very excellent. Very energetic. Uh, energetic. I believe that he's one player that if you have him, Mohamed Kudus, and also all the other young players in the team, they are going to really, really do. So, guys, that is the latest update concerning Enes Nyama. He was rated 7.6 by so far score. He came off the bench to score that goal for Lyon. Lastly, let's talk about Mohamed Hussein. See, Mohamed Hussein, 21 year of age. I don't know why they are not scouting this place. Let me tell you something about Mohamed Fusini. Now, Mohamed Fusini is on loan from Stangra. Stangra. Now, Stangra is in the Austrian League. Now, he's on loan from Stangra to Randes. Now, Randes is in the Danish Super League. Now, playing for Randes this season, he has already played six games or made six appearances for Randes. He has scored four goals and given one assist so far. Today, Randers played again, and he scored three goals. This is his first out trick in his footballing career. This player is so great. I've been following him when he was playing at Stangras. And now that he's alone at Randers, I just hope that I mean, people will send their attention there. The 21 year of age, very good, very energetic, very clinical. And his loan has an option to buy. So Randers have the option to make his loan move a permanent one at the end of the season. But then we'll make sure to follow up on this player and bring you more updates on him. I believe that it's high time the Ghana Football Association, the scouts, the coaches, they, they go in and scout players who are doing well at club level. And Mohamed Fuseni, I mean, is, is giving you that, that feel. Just 21 years of age. He could definitely play Black Matthews. Let's, let's put him in the junior team system and see how well he will progress. That is my own opinion. And stop fooling players who are not winning or convinced to play for the Black Stars or the Junior National Team. But then, Mohamed Fusini scored his first hat trick of his footballing career today for Randers in a 6 2 trailer game. And so far, he has scored four, was given one and six in six appearances from Randers. He's on loan from Stam Grass in the Austrian Liga. But guys, this is all I have for you for today. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie. We go by.